So, okay, Golden Globes, mister. Yeah, we have been showing, uh, you know, a lot of the highlights from, uh, from my trip there. And, of course, we're showing a lot more than we can show on Extra here. So, and you, you know, talk to everyone. Yeah, well, I talk to all the winners, which is which is so great. Because you're a winner. No, no, no. Because I I, I have that opportunity. Because they want to see you but after I, they get their Golden Globe. But I love being able to share all of this with with our friends who watch every single day. And you know, Matt Bomer. Now he was he's that guy on that uh, television show White Collar, where mm -hmm. he has really jumped into a, a new stratosphere with his career, uh, b being in that HBO movie. The, the normal, normal heart. heart, right? And he won, of course. And uh, he, he, uh, that movie, by the way, tells the true story of the start of the AIDS epidemic back in the 80s. And I had a chance to talk to him right after he won. Take a look at this. First of all, you look smashing. What? You look smashing. Man. Look at this. I mean, I had... so madman. Oh, madman. Thank you. Yes. Um, but it, it is just me, so a singular's fine. Um, no, I, I had a lot of help. The people at Ralph Lauren were amazing. It was yeah. the first suit I tried on, first tuxedo I tried on, and they made it very easy for me. What does this feel like right now? Um, I have to be honest with you. I, I, like we talked about earlier, I just came to have a good time tonight. I'm such a huge fan of all the nominees in those categories, and so I didn't expect anything. So I was really shocked. and. But to win for this piece that's been so close to my heart since I was 15 and taught me so much about love and, and humanity and, and the power to affect change, um, uh, I think it's, it's more special for me. Tell us a story about, about how this affected you at age 15. Well, I read it in the, my drama room had an amazing library and I, I saw this iconic image of the characters Ned and Felix in the front and I thought, I want to see what this is about. And then living in suburban Texas, I had no idea what was going on with the AIDS epidemic. Nobody was talking about it, no one was doing anything about it. And so it, it, it angered me and it, it, it brought out compassion in me and um, it just taught me about uh, unconditional love under really horrific circumstances. And um, so I would have been happy doing this as a play in a regional theater. The fact that I got to do it as a movie for HBO is like, so many dreams come true. So many dreams come true, and the fact that it's been such a passion project for you, yeah. and for the whole cast, really. Yeah. I mean, we know Julia Roberts felt the same yeah. way, and, yeah. and I mean, she just uh, no, I mean, absorbed every really bit of it. really started with Mark Ruffalo. We all owe him. He, he was the heart and soul and passion of this yeah. movie in every frame. And Julia, Jim Parsons, uh, Joe Mantello, uh, the entire cast brought so much, Alfred Molina yeah. brought so much to the table. So. Who did you forget to thank up there? Did you forget anybody? I forgot to, th I think the only person I forgot to thank specifically um, was Dee Dee Gardner and Brad Pitt at Plan B who really made this movie happen. How could you forget about Dee Dee You know, Brad? because there's a timer right in front of your face that starts <laughs> to click. And you start to organize, and who am I going to see tomorrow or but, tonight? But you got um, to remember Brad Pitt. You cannot ever forget. I've, I've thanked Brad Pitt before, so I think I'm good. And then um, my publicist, Jennifer Allen, who has been oh, so instrumental yes. in everything that's happened in my career from day one. So yeah. Now, I see you're backstage with your partner. He must yeah. be equally as thrilled as you. I, I think he was, like, I think more nervous than I was really? this, this whole past week. Simon! Get over He's there. Been come so, here. Um, no, just for a second. Just for a second. Come here, come here, come here. And attentive and um, He's saying nice things about you. Come here, come here. We want to see your I, handsome I was just mug. Telling them that I think you were more nervous than I was. <laughs> what did you say to me when, when I saw you guys? You were like, can you believe this? No, I was very excited. You I'm proud excited. of him. You should be I'm proud, proud of him. He worked very hard on this. Yeah. Very hard. He lost 40 pounds. Wow, I know. <laughs> that must have been kind of strange for you to see him. Physically there deteriorate was a like that. certain point where I kind of had to, to like separate myself from the family because I was actually so skinny and low energy that it just was not going to be a good idea. So I went to New York and really? just lived on my own. Yeah. Wow. Strange for our kids. I bet. What did they think? Well, they their favorite book is Flat Stanley. One of yeah. One of them, and it was about somebody who's like a piece of paper. I think you know in childhood's children's imagination. So he was Flat Stanley. They thought no. I was going to be as thin as a piece of paper. <laughs> They were so concerned when I got back, they were like, oh, you're only that skinny. Okay, we can still move around. Sweet. You're not Flat Stanley, you're not skinny. <laughs> That's so, so cute. So I, I didn't make it you know, up to their expectations, but yeah. maybe they, next time. They just called us and they were screaming. Aww. How old are they now? Uh, our oldest is nine and a half, oh and the gosh. twins are almost seven. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, Boy, right? has that gone fast. Yeah. You know?
I know. Wow. Well, I am so thrilled. We're all thrilled for oh, you. Oh, man. I, you know, I am. we've been with you every step of this you have. journey. You really and, have. And honestly, it is just. Uh, we're very proud Someday of Someday this will all sink in for me. It's definitely not going to be tonight. <laughs> and uh, I think I'll be a really happy man then, too. So thank you for all of your support over this whole project. Thank, thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what a sweet couple. Really sweet couple and, and such a talented actor Oh, yeah. As and well. handsome. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, then there's that. Okay, another talented actor, Kevin Spacey. We're going to bring the whole interview with uh, him tomorrow, but we got to show you a little sneak peek right here. Uh, I have to tell you what happened. I, I literally gave Kevin Spacey an inadvertent champagne shower. Okay? okay. Yeah, he won for the House of Cards. Take a look. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. This is not the way you drink. Okay. Drink champagne like a beer. Mm. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. There we are. Well, you know what? You're the winner. That's right. I am the winner. And we have to christen you. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel fully christened. <laughs> I can't believe you spit on Kevin That's Spacey. Not a spit. It came out of the bottle. It came right out of your mouth. No. Yes, it did. No, it came out of the bottle. It look, was... look, look. No, look, watch, watch your mouth. No, no see, it came, no, out man, came out of the bottle. It came out of your nose. <laughs> I knew it went up my nose. Okay, Look, you have got to watch it in slow mo over and over. Now, watch. Oh, see, oh. It's, sp it's sprayed out of the bottle and it went up my nose. It was horrifying. Okay. Okay, we're going to bring you that whole interview. <laughs> That's great. You won't want to miss that. Good thing Kevin likes you. No, but it, it, the interview was actually really good. So, I'm but that's sure how it, it started. Was. Good job it out there, really, Mister. Really badly. Good job. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back.